Hi everyone, Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another tutorial video in response to a subscriber question. Uh, we had a question from Robert Donahue um, who has asked um, is it possible to end the mission when all troops get into a helicopter for extraction? Yep, it sure is. There's a few ways to do this and I can show you how that's done. So let's get Okay, we've got our unit placed down. Um, these units are from the Oz Off Light Mass mod, which are Australian Special Forces unit models. They come with a whole different range of Australian uniforms, weapons and gear. If you're an Aussie community or you just like the look of these, I definitely recommend you give them a try. So our unit's down um, and we also are going to need a helicopter obviously because we want the units to well we want the mission to finish when the units board the chopper so I've placed the chopper down uh, you can use whatever helicopter you like one thing you've got to ensure when you do place a chopper down in the editor is that place vehicles with crew is checked in the bottom right hand corner if that doesn't happen um, let's untick that place down another little bird it will place an empty chopper with no crew and if you're wanting the mission to end by your guys getting to a chopper and flying away then you're going to need an AI crew unless you've got a human crew and that's going to be tricky so you need a trigger down to ensure that the engine comes on because when we first start this mission this chopper will be off the engine will not be running and unless you get into some really complicated scripting uh, or you're using Zeus to place a chopper the engine won't come on with an AI crew so let's create a trigger to put the engine of the chopper on I've created a trigger earlier and we can just place that actually anywhere we like as long as our players go through the trigger and in the trigger I've set it to activation type as any player present condition this and in activation I have heli 1 engine on true semicolon the variable name of this chopper is heli 1 so that variable name relates to the command within this trigger and when we run through this trigger now the helicopter's engine will turn on but it won't fly anywhere and what I'll do is I'll set a five second delay for the trigger activation so that when we go through that trigger or five seconds after we go through that trigger the engine of the chopper will come on let's test that to see how it works okay so we're in the mission and we're about to cross the trigger five seconds after crossing the trigger the engine of the helicopter should start and there we go now if you want to use the same trigger to end the mission you can do that that's fine um, it means that you won't fly away in the helicopter it means you guys will board and then the mission will end the way to do that is we can use the same trigger and in the on activation section we put the line end one in inverted commas call space bis underscore fnc underscore end mission semicolon so what that will do is it will not only turn the chopper's engine on but it will also end the mission as well and I'll show you how that works so now when the trigger is activated it will start the engine of the chopper it will also call the end mission function and there we go mission complete now if you want the ending to be a little more cinematic and dramatic what you can do is open up that trigger take the end mission function line out of the activation section and I'm just going to cut it because I'm going to use it somewhere else click OK so this triggers back to just starting the um, helicopters engine what I've done also is I've placed a trigger here which is a larger trigger and I'll place it there just a little hint with triggers 
if you have selected a trigger and you want to change the size here without having to go back into the map to do it if you press spacebar four times one two three four you can then edit the size of the trigger uh, or the zone or whatever it is that you put down in here now in this trigger we have put the activation type as any player present on activation end call BIS function end mission so this is now the trigger that's going to end the mission and what I'll do is put a timer of 10 seconds on that now what we need to do is we need to get this chopper after we've boarded to move through that trigger to end the mission so again we go back into the chopper itself noting that the variable name is heli1 and to ensure that after we put our waypoints the chopper doesn't move until we want it to we type in here heli1 disable AI move in inverted commas semicolon okay so now that chopper even if I give it a waypoint will not move until another trigger activates its movement so I'll give it a couple of waypoints firstly I'll give it a waypoint to the front which is just hold down shift and right click that's its first waypoint and I will give it another waypoint over this way past the trigger which is also shift and right click and because it's a helicopter and it doesn't move along the ground left alt left click drag that waypoint just up into the air and we'll drag that one left alt left click up into the air as well and we'll continue it on and give it another one out here so we've got plenty of time for that trigger to activate okay so we've got those and remember we don't need too many movement waypoints because we're using this to end the mission now what we need to do is tell that chopper to move to the waypoints so I've prepared another trigger here and inside this trigger I have activation type any player present condition this and in the on activation section I have heli1 enable AI move so when our player or any human player enters this trigger it will be activated by the any player present I'll set a delay of 15 seconds on this just to maybe give time for all of our players to board the chopper before it takes off what we then need to do because this trigger is activating the movement of this chopper we need to right click and sync to correction we need to right click and set waypoint activation by syncing to the first movement waypoint so we'll place that trigger there as well so what should happen now is the helicopter's engine will come on and then shortly thereafter the chopper will take off fly to this waypoint and then through the end mission waypoint and then I've just added another one out there just so we've got enough time for it to um, end let's check out and see how that works so we've completed all our other mission tasks and it's time for us to end the mission so we're going to run towards this chopper the chopper's engine is going to come on we're going to board the chopper now these guys will after engine start and we've enabled their movement with a trigger onto their waypoints a little bit of a delay there you go choppers up now it's flying off into the sunset it'll pass through the end mission trigger 
and we've put a little bit of a delay on that end mission trigger just so we can get the chopper um, a little bit further down the track to give a little bit more immersion to you guys and there we go mission complete one more little tip is if you've got if you play with a bunch of guys you've got a community full of guys who like to take their time and dawdle a little bit and not move so quickly we can actually do is ensure that these tasks don't actually or the triggers don't fire until a particular player is within the task or the trigger area sorry so um, you might want to let all your other guys board the chopper first and then you are going to board the chopper after them and your variable name will fire the trigger and I'll explain what that means so at the moment this player unit which is uh, the main player does not have a variable name and we'll leave it like that what we'll also do is in these triggers we'll start with the helicopter engine on um, in the this condition we're going to put this line this and and space let's call him Bob in this list the activation type doesn't change anywhere else it's still activation any player present but this condition here will ensure that this trigger only activates if a player with a variable name of Bob is in the list keeping in mind that this player has no variable name and we'll also add the we'll just copy that line from there and we'll put it into our other trigger which enables the AI move and to go down to the next line we hold shift and press enter uh, actually that's incorrect we want it in the condition section so this is set with the same condition so Bob must be in the trigger area or in this list for those triggers to fire and I'll show you how that works so our variable name is not Bob so when we run into these triggers the triggers won't fire so the engine won't come on and the helicopter won't move because Bob is not in the trigger area this is a fantastic thing to use if you've got a bunch of community members who are all still running, running across that field you want to make sure they've all boarded the helicopter first and then once they're all on you can go and jump on the chopper when you're have a when you have a variable name set to activate the triggers and I'll show you how that works so just again I'm not that variable name so this trigger won't fire no matter how much you run around in it but now I'll change the variable name to Bob okay and run back into the and now because I am variable name Bob the engine will start the helicopter will fly and travel off in the direction of the end mission trigger And remember we've set a delay of I think 15 seconds on the end mission trigger so this will fly past the trigger a little bit to sort of give your troops the idea that they're leaving the area and then the trigger will fire and the mission will end so Robert Donahue I hope that has uh, answered your question there's a couple of different methods there to do it if I've gone too fast or anything has been confusing or haven't explained things um, in a way that was easy for you to understand just let me know and we can go over it again um, if you've liked this content and you want to see more please like subscribe and share and consider hitting that patreon link below uh, helping me out to produce more content like this thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.